Hi, YouTube. I forgot to hit the record here. We're in game one of match one of the modern challenge. I'm playing a Rally the Ancestors deck. So now, if I hit a land and they play like some blockers, then I can just bounce them. Though they might just sit here and like try to rally for two. If they rally for two, we bet them. They have to play to the board. Okay. So I think I still just have to attack with both of my creatures and not, I can't play Jason Bounce. Okay, that's pretty good. So I'm gonna do that after combat because it's not gonna change my play regardless. But I'm gonna look to take like a sack outlet or just something that impacts the board. So let's attack. What if that's cool? So they drain me for a lot. Always yield. Always yield. Okay, so if I take this Blood Artist and stub their next play, we've got him. Okay. And then just whichever, whether it's a rally or a company, just counter it. The Gavin's gone. Okay, they drew land. We. Boys and girls, we got them. They should do this in my upkeep. I guess not. I guess they should, doesn't really matter when they do it. Either they resolve or they die. Well, I got ferocious, bud. That is just actual factual negate. Okay. All right, so I don't want Liliana. I don't want Jace. I do want I do want all these brutalities. I want this flame tendrils. Last hope. Probably can cut like two. I can cut a land because we're boarding out our Jaces, and then I can cut like an Inquisition. Let's see how this looks. The Maelstrom pulses are like okay, but kind of clunky. Yeah, I would agree there, Farby. So let me look here. So we've got eight, we have six, nine, we have nine targeted removal spells, mass, one piece of mass removal, one kind of piece of mass removal. I don't want all my discard. I want my stubs. I think I'm just gonna keep it like this. I'm gonna run it back. <clears throat> I could bring in my pulses, but pulse seems a little too funky. Yeah, I think I've got to. Sh I have to ship this hand because. I have one piece of interaction. I can't get my Death Shadow down, and I'm only halfway to Delirium. All right, we're gonna keep this. Put that on the bottom. Maybe, maybe Stroke would've been good. We get three looks at a land here. So let's... Right. Come on. Oh, OK. 
guy. Swing and a miss. All right, so let's play these two baubles. We're actually not in terrible shape if we hit a land because our hand's pretty interactive. I'm gonna do this on my opponent's turn. This matchup gets, certainly gets a little worse because we don't have Battle Rage. Like Battle Rage is the stones here. So then we get three more looks at a land. I don't know if I don't hit a land, probably. Probably game over. Yeah, definitely. Pride Mage on top. Okay, so we'll have Delirium, let's scry, and then I think I'm just going to get rid of this Viscerous here. Kind of try to line, my hand is stacked. Bloodstained Mire, do I want another land? No land's going to give me Liliana. I don't think I do, I think I have enough interaction to where... Next turn, I probably have to Thought Seize. Yeah, next turn I've definitely got a Thought Seize. I'm gonna do this tomb. I'm gonna push now in case they have put like Cord or something. I don't really know. The next turn I can traverse and play a Death Shadow if I need to. Sorry I'm not chatting as much. I usually chat more, but there's a bit more going on in this match. Yeah, I definitely need to use a discard spell next turn. We need to draw off our bobble. Okay, so that's another Death Shadow, which is nice. Okay, there's the Pride Mage. Oh, it gets in here. Alright, I'm actually going to lead off with an Inquisition. Because that also hits Rally. So let's go like this. And then if I have to Thought Seize, I will. But I am going to have to mine my life total. Fiend Hunter, Fiend Hunter, Eternal Witness. Gross. Okay, so if I take Eternal Witness. I take Eternal Witness. I take three. Traverse for a land and then traverse for a death shadow so that I can abrupt decay the first fiend hunter and eat his blocker. So take eternal witness. This is tough. So if I take eternal witness, I traverse for a land, traverse for a death shadow. I go to six. I play my Death Shadow. Opponent Fiend Hunters it. I abrupticate the Death Shadow. Eat his blocker. Hit whichever card he's got left over. If that's the case. I guess I might as well take Witness. Traverse. Because he can witness back some of these. He might, if he just plays a naked Fiend Hunter, that's okay. I'm gonna take the witness. And then traverse for like a probably a breeding pool tapped. Or did I no, so I'm gonna need the land next turn. So I got I have to like, traverse for a basic. Because I can't have take any damage from it coming into play. Oh yeah, yep. Okay, so we drew a Blood Artist. Oh, 
problem is that these take you two damage apiece. So if I take a witness or take Fiend Hunter, up up to K, take two. Hunter. They don't have any answer to the next one, and I can't like block either. Is my out just drawing flying tendrils? So thought sees or hit here, go to four, get rid of a fiend hunter, play Tarmaloy's Death Shadow next turn. The fiend hunter's one of them. Then my opponent attacks, I block, take two, go to two. But I can't traverse. I have to traverse and not Inquisition in order to decay. Which is probably the best line of play. Traverse, I block, decay this. And Tom Lord's Death Shadow, and then just kind of like hope. Okay, we'll get Death Shadow. The problem is, they're just going to start to be able to chump block me out of the game. So I think I really need to hit a Flame Tendrils. Oh. The nice thing about this deck is the more we play it, the more we understand that we have to mind our life total a lot. Tax. Take two. They don't die though, right, Ravalon? It doesn't die, it exiles it. So Flying Tendrils doesn't kill me. Just gotta run one out. I probably makes. No, he's drawing a card. Oh, what they hit? I hit a voice. Okay, flying tendrils, because then I go block the thing, take four. Need like a collective brutality. Also would be good. I think I'm I think I'm probably dead on my way, unless I draw like a collective brutality. I don't think I've got the outs here to win the game. Cause he's like, okay, that's it. That's a sack outlet. Yep. Whew. Okay. Just fell too far behind. All right, on the play. Disdainful stroke. I would be willing to bet they boarded out I don't think I want Disdainful Stroke because it's just too narrow and Stubborn Denial does the job and I think that all my other cards are better. I want Turn 1 Interaction. I want Fatal Push or Inquisition. Maelstrom Pulse is kind of clunky and doesn't really work well with Sack Outlets. Juliana the Veil is like somewhat appealing on the play. They didn't... <laughs> Tell my opponent that. Let me think. Pulse isn't good against sack outlets. I think we just I think we're pretty good in this matchup. I just need to hopefully have a decent seven. It's like we missed our first land drop and was reasonably close in that game. Disrespectful. You're disrespectful. Alright, um yeah, I think I'm just gonna keep it. I don't really see anything else that I want. Like Maybe I want to sideboard out a Street Wraith for another Inquisition. Yeah, I'll do that. 
I just want to be able to interact early in the game and then land a threat. No, I'm not trying to grind. We're not trying to. That's why my Jaces are on my sideboard. Like, we're not. We're, we're Captain Get him this game. All right, we're going to try this. I probably should have had my Inquisition in on the draw. I'm, I'm going to draw. That's my plan. So let's. Okay, yeah, that seems very good. We're going to cycle before we fetch. Start off the Inquisition. All right, so we hit a Traversal. We're going to hit our second land drop, but I would like that to be not a basic. No, I don't want to really play Lay of the Land. I could get a Breeding Pool and Traverse for a Swamp, but I think in the beginning I just want to interact. I look to think I'm going to take a sack outlet. I do miss my battle rages right now. Yeah, you're right there. Okay, I think I'm going to take this Viscerous here because it it just turns these on. I have a long way to get to these. And, um, well, I also can just take these Fiend Hunters and just try to slog through this. Or the Sata Wayfinder that finds them a land. Fatal push can deal with this. Some more like I could just take this, take one of these, push the other one, leave the mistress here. This mistress here is gonna accrue a little bit of advantage, but if they this is gonna draw them a land. And like I don't really want to leave them with both of these. I could just take this, this. And then look to, but I want to, I kind of want to thought seize the company. We have a lot of threats as long as we can get to Delirium, which if I let him play this next turn, I can go push if I hit land and traverse. Oh, this is rough. I could just take his turn one play, but then I'm not going to be able to get Delirium. I really want to just take this Sater Wayfinder. I don't think this is going to matter. Like, I think I'm going to be able to get around this. Because like these aren't that great if I get rid of this, which I'll push this. I could just hit Sata Wayfinder, hit this. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Because we are very threat dense, and we might be able to like, and we might be able to make it so our opponent has to chump block with these pretty quickly. We got there, La Flame. Hopefully I draw land so that I can just push this and then thought seize their collective company. Okay, that's the stones. Let me take a look at this first. They did draw the land, so they are going to be able to start fiend hunting us. But we can. I think we're just going to be able to overpower these fiend hunters. No sense in doing this now. I could also do it in their draw step so that they might mess up their scry. Let me try that. Because like then they can't, if they want to keep it on top, they can't fetch, which means they might have to take damage next turn. Well, you're in a different format there, Doctor. So I can take a Fiend Hunter, or I can Traverse, Traverse. I could have played Shadow, but I wanted to like eliminate this thing as it's just going to accrue advantage. 
And if they hit like a voice, then that's pretty good. It was me being defensive, and maybe I should have been uh, aggressive. Um, so I kind of just want to take, I want to thought seize one of these Fiend Hunters, and then traverse for a Death Shadow, and not play it, because I want to time lock them. Yeah. All right, let me get this and then I'll pass. Because now he can't really, if he misses, then. Okay, that's a good draw. So let's get this into play. That's good. Oh, they can't cast their wind. They must have drawn a land. Because they can't cast Fiend Hunter unless they have another white source. Okay, there's our white source. Okay. Hit my shadow. So now I just crack in, play two Death Shadows, put Lethal on the board, and have a removal spell. Oh. The Township plus two other cards. And they canopied, which probably means they have at least one more land, because sacrificing a land is pretty dangerous. How do I lose? I lose by getting punked out of this game by a company or I guess it's not even that good. Well, the fiend if the fiend hunter comes back. I think I'm just gonna attack, traverse, and hold up stubborn denial. Like I don't think we're in any rush. We can gain some life in a pinch. Like yeah, we're gonna telegraph our opponent what we're doing. Though, how do we die? He doesn't have any. I'm just going to play it. Put the heat on. Okay, so he's got... Right, that's good for the home team. All right, there's a sack outlet. So I'd like to draw a land so that I can go brutality. Because he's got a block with one of these. I can force it, but I just don't want to get got right away. Right. Let's see what's on the top of this deck. Okay, Eternal Witness. That's not really, that doesn't really matter. Okay, I think I'm just going to crash with both. Because even he has to block, probably blocks with this, scries that to the bottom. I should have waited. He puts this on the bottom. Okay, 
Okay, they put a car on top. Okay. I'm gonna just pass, draw a card off our bobble. I think a deck like this probably dies, in my opinion, after Jace being unbanned. Because like this deck's just never beating a Jace control deck. Okay. Well, you have to double chump. But I should be able to just brutality. And I can play my land to even play around like a stubborn denial, or play around a whatever it is, a path to exile. Which if he gets Okay, he gets Viscerous here back. Can he cast it? Yeah, he can cast it. So if he shocks himself, I just kill him. He didn't shock himself though. So if I, I should actually just brutality this before combat, attack with both, and then have stubborn denial up. I actually can even ditch a stubborn denial because they'll both be four fours, they'll both leave. I can actually even ditch a denial to gain some life. Because I go to six, then I go to four, get rid of this, deny them two scribes, they have a Gavney Township and something in their hand. I still have Ferocious. So let's get a basic. So hopefully it's only get another one back next turn. This is two targets, so it's not countered. Can't shock themselves next turn, which I don't. I don't know if that's relevant. I put a card on the bottom. Okay. Chump. And now, I don't know, I'm going to keep my hands off the computer so I don't F6 through something. All right. There's round one of the books that we stopped my recording.